Hey guys, Al2 here, 316 RC, and I'm back today. A special day. We're going to be doing an unboxing right here. Come, come on down. Take a look at take a look at this right there. That's right, O'Neill Brothers Racing. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. We're going to be doing an engine unboxing today. You know, but first. Um, Take a look at this right here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring you down here. Big shout out to my man Basher RC. He's our uh, Aussie brat brother. Reached out to me um, a while ago and check this out right here. Sent me these cool, cool stickers from his channel. Check these out, man. These are bad. These are some bad stickers. Really cool, man. I really appreciate that, my brother. So, um, guys, go check his channel out. He doesn't have very many views, so he could appreciate you guys giving his channel a little boost. Give him some thumbs up and some likes, and if you like his stuff, go ahead and subscribe to him. He's got some really cool videos. I can't believe he doesn't have more views than this, so give him a look there. I'm sure he would appreciate it. All right, thank you, my man, Basher RC. Glad to have you. Glad that uh, you're a brat brother. So, uh, like I said, appreciate appreciate all these stickers, my man. Really cool. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Uh, without further ado, let's get the OBR engine unboxed. I've had this engine for probably about six weeks now, so um, let's go ahead and uh, see what Sean sent us. Very exciting unboxing an engine. comes baby Neil Brothers it's an OBR fully modded ring down here closer it's an OBR fully modded Zenoa 29 it's fully modded so it has the stroker option which takes it to a 30.5 cc uh, engine it has the um, oh I got the upgraded compression to run a hundred octane fuel so I'll be running the race fuel in here it's got their uh, billet case assembly on there hey look at that right there baby made in the US of A gotta like it OBR turtle racing nice Nice, nice, nice. Yep. And there's my name on the side. Nice, nice, nice. Now this uh, this engine is going to be upgraded to my Roven BM5 monster truck. Now the reason I got the 29 cc engine was. It's a direct replacement without having to modify anything in that chassis on that truck. Uh, that's why I went with the 29. So, like I said, I went with the high compression uh, upgrade on this. So I'm going to be running some uh, some super duper high octane fuel in here. So yeah, I'm hoping it is going to make that Roven BM5 scream. Um, I do have a wheelie kit for that truck, so I'm hoping with this engine and the gearing changes and all the upgrades. And if you guys haven't seen it, check out my uh, check out my build upgrade builds. I've I've done part one on the BM5, and I'm getting ready to do part two. So this engine here is part of the upgrade. So yeah, really excited about putting this in the BM5. Oh, let me uh, let me swing over here quick. It's actually replacing this motor right here. This is the uh, 
Roven 29 that I pulled out of there. And I have, I'm pretty sure, where's that? Ah, right here. I got a, a bling kit, I believe this will fit too. I'm gonna fakey chrome this baby all out. I'm sure all these parts will fit 29. This is a DDM. This is actually metal, this piece, I believe. Oh yeah, that's metal. This is a Chung Yang cover. DDM part number EG330. I got this as a whole kit. It had the, uh, came with the, uh, I don't know what you call this, the top cover, spark plug cover, uh, I guess just the engine cover. I got a, um, a chrome pool start. So yeah, I believe these are all going to fit. So it's really going to go with the beautiful where is it down here I got stuff everywhere yeah right here it's really gonna add some extra chrome and bling to the all the billet I've been um, doing on the BM5 so it's really gonna be good I will Probably take this sticker off and put it on the chrome piece. I'm sure I'll be able. I'm pretty sure these parts will fit. I'm pretty sure the 29 Zenoa fits the standard uh, CY. Yeah, I think this will fit. I really do. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this truck. Now, as you can see, I got uh, no carb. Also, this uh, these aren't really plastic, but these are some kind of um, material that's, I don't know what it's made out of, but um, the isolation block, I'm going to be replacing that with, uh, I got it up here somewhere. What we got here? Fuel filters, yes. I'm going to be putting this pretty sure this is going to fit got my RB innovations heat sink isolator block I'm gonna be putting that on this engine so carburetors I got uh, what do I got here I got some I got some uh, I'm not sure what carb yet I'm gonna put on got 990 um, None rooster tail. I got 1107 back there. Haven't decided on the carb yet. Also, um, I got, um, as you can see, I got no, uh, no clutch on it. I got a uh, clutch housing that there's a special clutch housing for the FG. Has like a notch or something. So, um, Somewhere I got that clutch housing. I'm not sure where. Let me see where it is. I can show you guys. Might be down here in my FG upgrade parts box. That might have been where I threw it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here's that wheelie kit. Look. Wheelie bar kit. Expecting to be able to uh, pull some serious wheelies here. Let's see. Hold on down here somewhere look at all these parts man this is an FG uh, store here it does not appear to be here alright here it is here it is here is let's take a look at this this is a hope we can see this one here this is a uh, clutch housing standard one. Now here's the one special part from FG. I don't know if you can see this, how this is still in the bag here, but this is cut out here on the side of this one. And look at this one, there's no cut out. 
not sure. I haven't uh, checked. But this obviously is to clear something. So it's a special um, special clutch um, housing needed on the Zenoa engine. So, um, you know, when you're using the FG uh, monster truck. So I got that clutch housing. Like I said, that's going in. The RB uh, Innovations heat sink, 1107 or 990 carb, uh, velocity stack, I have one up here somewhere, well, I got a Bartolone, I don't think I'm going to put the Bartolone on here, what do you guys think, put the Bartolone on or I got a DDM 1 inch, um, I got a DDM uh, 8K, uh, clutch to put on there. I got a couple of those in stock. Got so many parts up here. I have no idea where they're at. Oh, 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 I got to show you guys. Um, let me move this stuff out of the way. And not only the engine, new engine. Let's get the pipe out of here. Here's the pipe came on the Roven. Not a bad pipe, you know, hey, hey, you get a pipe on that BM5. For that money, you get a pipe. I still think that truck is a great buy. <clears throat> you just need to go over it real good if you get one. Um, you don't have to go crazy like I did with all these upgrades, but you know, guys know me by now. It's what I do. So, but right here, right here, Right here. Brand new pipe. Brand new pipe. Check it out. DDM Dominator chrome pipe for the FG two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, off-road vehicle. You can't see this real good, but it's, uh, I'm not going to get out of the bag right now, but uh, I'll have it in a future video when I put this engine together and stuff. I got a brand new Dominator pipe as well, so, hey man, we're going to be doing some brapping. <laughs> yes, this is going to be doing some brapping, baby. I'm not messing around. Uh, with this upgrade, you know, it's uh, I'm all in on this. Um, brand new power plant, brand new pipe, high compression engine. We're going for it. So I am excited to get this build finished. Um, spring is hitting here really early. I'm not sure that we ever had winter here in uh, northeast here in Pennsylvania, but spring's right around the corner, and I'm ready to. Uh, unveil this new upgraded truck once I get her all done. Ah, what the heck, let's get this out of the bag so we can take a good look at it. I'm going to get it out of here soon anyway, so let's do it. EM Dominator. What we got here? Here's a Gasket, sticker, gasket, and uh, bolts for the exhaust header. Uh, here she comes. Ah, oh, sweet. Super sweet. Look at that beautiful pipe. DDM. Let's uh, get the other one out. You can see the difference in the pipes right here. The Dominator pipe is a much uh, more tapered section in here. Um, has this nice uh, output section. This here had just the pipe that fed out of here. Like I said, it's not a bad pipe that came with it. I mean, you can't really complain about that. But just here, this is a uh, just a little next uh, next level, so um, yeah, really happy with the pipe, and uh, 
very excited about taking this build forward with these new performance upgrades in the engine and the exhaust. Yeah, I'm really excited about uh, getting this truck finished up. So, my best bet was this 29cc engine because, like I said, I didn't want to do any modifications. So, uh, O'Neill Brothers Racing was the best bet for me there. I know there's a lot of engines coming out. You know, Bartolone has a bunch of engines. Um, Bartolone 40 is a great, great engine. Uh, might do that in an MTXL upgrade. I don't know yet. The, the Brovin, as I've heard it called on uh, Botagel's channel, somebody, uh, somebody coined the term a Brovin for the Rovin 45 Bartolone combo motor. Uh, there's some great things coming out. TMR Racing's been going crazy with all kinds of uh, modifications and pipes. So it's there's a lot of excitement right now in fifth scale uh, engines and pipes, and it's uh, I'm really excited about it as well. So I'm excited about uh, really turning this Roven BM5 monster truck into a high performance monster. That's what my goal is with this thing so and we're headed in that direction so this is the new heartbeat power plant for it i hope you guys like it let me know what you think in the comments you know uh you know whether you've had some uh engines from o'neill brothers or whatever but uh we're going to be uh giving this a try and we're going to see what it can do once i get this thing all back together so like i said i bought that wheelie uh wheelie bar for this truck so I'm hope I am going to need it based on this engine and the gearing that we're going to be putting in it so we'll see if we can pull some monster wheelies with a monster truck so all right guys that's gonna wrap up the video for uh, for today hope you guys like it don't forget if you like the video give me a thumbs up it helps other guys uh, find the content if you haven't subscribed you like my channel like what I'm doing you know you know subscribe Appreciate that very much, and um, I guess that's all I got today. I'm going to leave you with this verse, so everybody have a great week. God bless, and I'll see you all in the next video. So long.